Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, good morning, my dear students. Okay. Uh, COVID 19 has forced the school management to adopt this online issue so as to help you in your admission for the forthcoming water and the medical examination. My name is Uwosa uh, Josiah. We are mathematics teacher for this morning lesson. Um, you are all familiar with shapes like triangle, rectangle, square, and the sphere, etc. Like egg, orange, egg or globe, that takes the shape of sphere. A point on the air surface is always located based on the latitude and the longitude of the place. And based on that, we are going to take up a topic in mathematics known as latitude and the longitude, small and great circles. So, our topic for today is latitude and the longitude. Which is what I call more and the great circle. Now, when we take the shape of, of the earth, which is spherical, like this, when I say spherical, their mind will be cast in the shape of egg. We we'll have a line that run from north and south, which is the, the axis to which the earth rotates. Then, if I give them another line, a sphere that moves from north to the south for example N Y S that line is called longitude longitude or meridian it's called longitude if I draw another one like this, maybe x here, the same thing, n x s is another one of the great circle. Then if I cut if I cut this globe with a line that moves from the west to the east. We talk about small circles. Let me give you one other room. When you get an orange, and you get an orange, there are many ways to share it with somebody. If you are the owner, I want to give somebody, you don't want to help, you want to give somebody. You can cut it either toward the, the northern side, the up, or down, very small. That is a small circle. But if you are, if two of you are the owner of the orange, you want to share it equally, you cut it at the center, which is called equator. So this point here is equator, which is big, big circle. But this point here is another latitude, which is called small circle. So now I'm familiar with the uh, big circle and small circle. Now let us proceed on how to do some calculation 
But before then, let us now establish what we are going to benefit at the end of this lesson. Knowing fully well that this lesson is a revision lesson, not purely teaching, because we are not SS3 preparing for your exam. So at the end, one, you will know how to locate a point on the earth's surface. And to do that, you must know the latitude and going to that place. Two, you have to know how to solve problems, such as finding the radius of the latitude of a place. The third one is to calculate the distance between two points on the Earth's surface. This calculation should be one, along the small circle, and two, along the great world circle. So we have three object, four objectives to achieve by the time we finish this lesson. I hope you are following. Number one, location of uh, a point on the Earth's surface. Let us now give ourselves an equation to do that. But you know fully well that any calculation on this in the wire on the you must do the location first. That is the home mark on the marking guide. Locate a place with the following latitude and longitude. One. Now, here, I want to make it more clearer by putting the word latitude and word longitude. But sometimes, we well, may put it like this 40 degrees north, 30 degrees east. Once you hear north or south, that refers to latitude. Once you hear east or west, that refers to longitude. So, not everything will tell you longitude and word latitude. Then, when you want to get this point, T on the earth surface. I will first of all draw the globe like this. Indicate the axis, indicate the equator. Just like sign of cross. Then I'll ask myself, from equator up is north, from equator down is south. By the right of the globe is east. By the left is what? West. So, based on this, I now know where to find the location. Because this is said 40 degrees north. I'll come up here and draw a line like this and then put the curve like this. You don't measure it, just indicate it. Once it's above the equator, it's north. Then, I've now done this one. I'll come here and say 40 degrees north. I will create that one. The next is. Longitude so 30 degrees what? East. Which means I'll go to my right hand side. I'll go like this. Longitude like this. This again. Longitude 30 degrees what? East. Now, find a point where the longitude and latitude meet. Where they meet. Where they intersect. And where they intersect is what? This point. This is our point. This is our point P. So that's how to locate it. This is our point P. That's our point what? P. So as we want to locate another one, let's now go to the southern side of the equator. I will say Q. Maybe 36 degrees south and maybe 70 degrees west. I will draw the globe like this also. Indicate the pole and the equator. Then where will I move now? Will I move up or south? Will I move up or down? By me at the south, I move what? Down. So I'll draw the latitude here. You should know that the actual way to put this, and we'll draw something like this. It's a waste of time. But when you pass an orange, if you look at the shape, it is circular. It's circular. So we'll just take the one 
when you hold like this, you will see the edge. Facing you, you will see the edge behind you. That's why I use the line, it's a margin. But no matter to talk about the edge facing you. So now, this is now 36 degrees what? South. The next one is west, 70 degrees west. Would I move to right hand side or left hand side? Why do you want left hand side? So I come down this side and I move like this. This is 70 degrees west. Where did they meet? They meet at the point here. This is the point Q. We have finished location. So now I locate towards now, we locate. Um, I will have to locate up the equator or down the equator towards north or towards south. That is the location. You can now try this on your own. You try this location. Number one, locate the following point one, town C. 60 degrees north and 70 degrees what? west. Town C. 60 degrees north, 70 degrees east. And town D. Town D is 45 degrees south, 45 degrees south, and the um, 35 degrees west. You can do the location. So that is the first one. Now let us find the radius of this last we have created. More second, the radius. I want to find the radius. How do you find the radius? Remember that when you are solving problem in this topic, nobody wants to derive the, to derive the formula. And you are familiar with all the formula. So don't bother yourself about deriving the formula. But just quote the formula to solve problem. You have three formulas I'm going to give you here. Number one is Somebody. And when you want to draw 
You should know that the wire where has a sheet is not your own. So don't mess with a wire. Draw a very big circle. So maybe you know what they are solving. Now I move to force to the this knot is the point for P. By our location, it is up. So I'll now write here. 42, 42 degrees north. Then the next is the east longitude, which is 34 degrees west, left hand side. I move like this. Twenty-four degrees west. Where is P? Automatic P is here. Then I talk about P. Let me go a lot of Q. Q is on the same latitude. So let me locate again. That's on the same latitude. But they have a different longitude, which is what? Which is what? 42 degrees what? West. Now, you ask yourself, when you have to count, will you, will you count one before two? Or will you count two before one? When you are going to count um, one before two. So from here, here is zero. You start counting. So if 24 is here, 42 is after before 24. After 24. So if you are counting this way, it will be after 24. If you are counting 24, before 24, 24. So I will now locate the other one. Like this. So here is Q. So I've seen the two down. So get there. If it is maybe uh, 20 degrees west, it will be inside. It will be inside. Now, the first question says find what? Find the, the, the radius of like 14 degrees north. Use the formula immediately. R is equal to big R plus theta. Let me warn you, in a wave marking scheme, once you call the correct formula, it's not one mark. So mark it. Even the correct answer, even the answer has half mark. So the emphasis is in the formula. Because when the formula is correct, automatically the answer may, may or may not be correct. But if the formula is wrong, answer will be wrong. But who knows how someone like to get some, some, the final answer without knowing how to solve it? So now, and the, this R is a constant. They will give you that in your don't bother yourself. R is 6400KM. Rate of the X is there. So they will give you that R. Then I will now put down here 6400 multiplied by cos. One latitude is what? 42. This theta is the. Latitude of the place you want to find is radius. They say find the radius of latitude 42 degrees north. That is it. So from here, you pick your calculator and find the, the, the latitude of the find the cost of 42. That is going to give you 0 0.7431. 0 0.7431. Remember that we talk about 40 table. But, but the calculator will give you more number. So take the four digits here. It's okay for you. Don't take all the numbers. So when you multiply these two out, that answer will give you um, 4755.84. 4755.84 kilometers. Now this answer, but sometimes when it will tell you to correct the answer to three Significant figures or three decimal places, another, another position that will take you another one mark. So, if you say my figure, you have done that in your um, uh, even JS1, you count one, two, three, four. If you say three, you say one, two, three. You check the next number. If it's up to five, you are prepared. If not up to five, you throw it away. So, if I take it to three SF, SF. And that should be 4760 km. Why 60? The next number after 5, after this 5 is 5. It's up to 5. You are permit. That should give you another mark. So we have solved this problem now. Let us apply the second formula. To find the time between P and what? Q. What are we talking about? 
this is so from here to here what I, what I want to find the, the value so I apply the one formula that P pure now dot on AB is equal to theta over 3 CC multiplied by 2 pi B R cos alpha why do I change this theta now to alpha? You so if you are in the class, you have two John. That's the way you change the two John. And I say John tall, John short, or John fair, John black. Now I have alpha and theta. If I continue using theta now, I'll be confused. Here, this theta now changes the name now. What is this theta now? When you come down here, this theta now here, theta is somewhere here. That is theta now. Then how do you get it? Now, this is west. West. Find the difference between two of them. If you have a, a line like this, here is 20, here is, here is 30. You want to find this. This should be 30 plus 20, which is going to give you 50. But if you have something like this now, here is here is ten, and here is thirty. You want to find the gap between the two? Thirty minus ten. Let me bring one arrow. Once you talk about west west or east east, you subtract. When you talk about west and east, you add. So bear in that mind. West to west, east east is subtract to find the theta. theta. But east is east east, west west subtract, but east and west to add. Now we have what? West and what? West. What are we going to do now? We subtract. So I'm going to answer 42, 42 minus 24, all over 360, multiplied by 2 pi. Big R, and again they will always they give you by either 22 over 7 or 3.142. Make sure you use the one way actually to use. Don't claim your own because once you fail to use it, the answer will differ and you, 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 you score you zero. So I will have using this now. I will put 22 over 7. Multiply by 6400 zero, cause this now is 42. Remember that the one we say for 2 here, for here, we use theta. But for this one, we call it what? Alpha. 42. So then, what you find here is what we call substitution. This is the formula which carries one mark, substitution carries half mark, and find out carries half mark. Every calculation is too much. So when you come down here, 42 minus 24 will give us what? 42, 24, that will give you 12 minus this is what? 8. 3 minus this will give you what? 1. That will give you 18 over 316 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 22 over 7. 22 over 7 multiplied by 6, 4, 0, 0. Then, cos 42. Now to find cos 42. Cos 42 to leave us, we are going before, 0 0.7431. Now, let me warn you. This calculator we are using will give you answer at any time. Whether wrong or right, based on how you handle it. From fact, out of your laziness, you can say 18 multiplied by this, multiplied by this, multiplied by this, multiplied by this, and you divide by this. You get this wrong. So be on the safer side. Please handle the numerator first and put the answer. Handle the numerator first, second, and then divide. You get the real answer. Let me take your time and get the answer and do. Summarize and get the wrong answer. So you have to handle this now. That will be 18 multiplied by 2, multiplied by 22, 
by 6400, or whatever it is, I will keep. I do it as I'm doing my own now. I have it. Eighteen multiplied by twenty by two multiplied by twenty two multiplied by six four zero zero multiplied by point seven four three one. That is going to give me. Your 3,766,625.28 over 360, 360 multiplied by 7 will give you 2520. Then divide the bottom of this, you have it like this. 3766625.28 divided by 2520. That is going to give you 11494.693km. You can repeat, you can check your lesson to know whether you are correct. Especially when you know that this is your, what the mean your page. So let me recheck it again. Uh, 18 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 22 multiplied by 6400 multiplied by 0 0.7431 equals um, I divide that rate 360 equals divided by 7 equals so as I correct. Now, as I told you before, they may try to test you another ability in mathematics. Correct to 3 trigger figures. I will now say to 3F, not always though, when you the first action is not good here. If I say to 3FF, that is going to give you 1, 2, 3. Then the next number, you not up to 5. So it's ignore it. That's going to give you 1, 4, 9, 4. 1, 4, 9, 4. Kilo meter. Remember again, after solving, you must put the unit. Very, very important. Otherwise, you lose half mark. Then, you see, we have now used these two formula to solve problem. Now, let me give you one to attempt now. Let us give ourselves one to attempt now. As we solve it, I'll solve it myself also. If there, if there are any question, you put it and I'll, I'll, I'll clarify. And then my math is normally a problem. If you don't know it, if you know it, it's a very simple subject. Now, this one says, calculate the following based on the, on the question below. How bracket 40 degrees north and 70 east. 40 degrees north, 70 degrees east. And the um, M bracket. 40 degrees north and 50 degrees west. 40 degrees north and 50 degrees west. These are another two points on the air surface. And the question says, locate the point and calculate what? The radius of the latitude 40 degrees north and distance between R and the N. As I told you, where do we start? We start by Drawing the globe and then locating the point. So we draw the globe like this again. And then you draw the 
the polar axis draw the equator, always remember to put these two. That will help to that will help you to know whether I'm moving north or south. We are still moving north here. This is 40 degrees. 40 degrees north. And this then 70 is, this side is east. And I put 70 like this. This is 70 degrees east. The point of R is here. Then I move to the other one, N. The same shear, the same latitude with the what? R. But different longitude. This time it is west. So I move like this. This is 50 degrees west. I don't measure anything, just locate. Here is M. Then, we are finished locating. The next thing to solve the problem. The first one says, find the radius of latitude. R is equal to big R cos theta. Please, always have this in mind. You see, mathematics normally move with the um, formula. Once you know the formula, you are okay. Have this in mind. How does that be clear your mind with the nonsense thing and then have this in your mind? Then I move like this. R is what? Since it's 4 0. What is common attitude? Is what? 40 is common. Which is 40. I think I will leave you here to solve this out and then give it answer. Then I move to Rn. This time between two of them. The same formula. Theta over 3 C C times 2 pi big R cos alpha. Let me warn you that you have used this to solve problems somewhere. Don't mean that you're not going to repeat the formula. Any time you repeat the formula, you have solved the formula. Even if you are solving problem and time chokes you, and you're able to stop here and submit, you have solved the formula. And one man can make a very big difference from 39 to 39 and 40. First, we now talk about maybe C, and then we talk about D. So you fill mass, you fill the, 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 the wire, you repeat by making that nine. Make sure that you always follow the formula each time. Now, I want to solve this one now. How do you get that theta? If you look at this, now this is down west. This is now what? East. And I told you, east and west, what? Add. So I'm going to add now, this is going to be 50 plus what? 70. All over three C's. Can I see the difference between that one and this one? That one is subtraction. So that's what? Addition. So you multiply by 2 times 22 over 7. Multiply by 6400. Because what is common attitude is what? Four. So you see that the equation is, uh, is okay. You see a bit that to use the calculator and do the, and do the calculation. Any question so far? Always forward your question through this um, um, uh, platform you are teaching. Then I go to another formula. This formula talks about the great circle. We have finished small circle. Let us go to the great circle. Before you go to the great circle, you must get answer subtended at the great circle. And I'll give you a straightforward formula to find it. For example, now this question now, and ask you, find the Find this line between R and N along the great circle. What I just done here is along the small circle. This is small circle. This is small circle. Why this is the great circle? This is zero. This is the great circle. We have this is small R. This is big R. So before you talk about this line between the along the great circle, you talk about angle here. Angle here. We are using angle here. Angle here is, um, let me see, 50 plus 70. I'm going to give you 0, 120. Here is 120. But don't know this angle. How do you form it? Now let me give it formula. Now let's call this, this angle here. Fine. You must do cover that with different ways of locating. You have alpha, you have theta, you have theta, you have phi, you have gamma, even. We use all this to differentiate angles. 
Let's try to angle here, 5. Now, 5 is going to be taken like this. 2. Now, look at this formula. That 5. Standing for the angle at the gas circle is equal to 2 sine inverse bracket sine theta over 2 and cos what? Alpha. Now let us know the, what different letters stand for. I'm sorry, phi is angle at the gas circle. Sine here, the theta there is the angle. Theta is the angle of their common latitude and the cos is angle of their difference. Now let us apply it here now. This is equal to 2 sine inverse bracket. Now this should give us for that question. Now, this is this, this is this from here. This and this addition. Which is going to give us what? 120. That is going to give you sine. 120 over 2. Because what the common latitude is for. Now, you should know in mathematics how what is called body mass. What is the body mass? You have to do what is called bracket first. This type of bracket. When you are solving problem, you must clear the bracket before you can proceed. I want to clear my bracket by saying. This is equal to 2 sine inverse into, um, so I'm going to divide. 120 by 2 was what? 60. That's going to give us sine 60 cos 40. All degrees. Then you move on again. Let me warn you. When you are following my machine, what you are finding, you know that one, that the equation is on the left hand side. And what you're finding it is on the right hand side. And you have to maintain the equal to. Any step where you remove equal to, that is because it's written altogether. It's like an expression. So nobody will score you. So maintain the equal to where you are solving. Let me warn you, when you are solving problems, always be at the, at the mercy of the examiner. When you are putting a work very neat, the examiner will say, oh, this boy, or this candidate, you try. But when you mutilate all those things, you, you annoy the examiner himself or herself, and it's very bitter against you. So even the way you're about to get it right, it's quite you do. So always maintain a neat walk. You think about what is. Then see my own how my equal to is moving on the same line. Then I now say 2 sine by 1 into what is sine 60? Sine 60. Please don't assume that you know it. Always go to the formula table and then find the answer. Don't assume. Because you may assume and do, and do wrong assumption. Sine 60. I have it as 0 0.660. I will now put 0 0.8 0 0.8660. Multiply by cos 40. Cos 40. I have it to be 0 0.7. Six, six, zero. Now I continue. You multiply two of them. I told that when you multiply, when you do the calculator, you get many numbers. But take four figure, four figure table, that four digits. I will do like this. Point eight six six zero multiplied by point seven six six zero. That is going to give me 0 0.6674. Now, the next is very simple. Find sine inverse of this. Go back to your lesson. Sine inverse. Sine inverse of that. 0 0.6634. That is going to give you. 2 times 4 to 1.56. Multiply by 2. That is going to give you 
2 multiplied by 41.56. That's what it gives you. If the third point one two, that is five. So this is the angle here. This is the angle here. Then once you get the other angle here, you have finished the problem. Very simple thing that you So to find R now, this is between R and N. That will be theta over three C C over two pi R. Now, if you look at this one, this top as two pi R because the other one is the other one is theta over three C C times two pi small r. It is because of this small r is not known, and the small r is equal to big r cos theta. That's why I remove it and put down this. But this one goes with big r direct. So don't need to talk about this. Thing. You want to convert small r to big r. That's why you put this. But this one direct. So we have finished the problem. So I come down here and put what is done now. That is equal to eighty three point one two over three C C multiplied by two multiplied by twenty two over seven times six four zero zero. We have finished. So go the way I told you. Let us calculate it. Finish the upper before you start solving the other one. Eight three point one two multiply by two multiply by twenty two over so it's not by twenty two multiply by six four zero zero. Now give you that we divide by three six. That will give you six five zero. One eight point three one one kilo meter. Then you see this one give us like this one now. This one six five zero point six five zero one eight point three one one. That is the distance between R and L along the great wall circle. So remember um, what I just achieved today. We locate a point on the Earth's surface. Two, we find the radius of the latitude. Three, you find the distance between two points along the gear circle and along the latitude of the plane. Then um, I will give you this to go home and then solve it. And this question I'm going to give you is a wire equation, which if you're able to solve it, you can now say that you are now ready for your wire. Please, always. Apart from what I'm going to give you, you can open textbooks, you can open um, wire equation papers, and solve as many as possible. So take down this. This is um, 1987. 1997. Question number 11. A and B are two points on the earth's surface. A and B are two points on the earth's surface. A is just A bracket 60 degrees north, comma, 60 degrees north, 60 degrees south. No, 60 degrees north, 60 degrees east, please. 60 degrees, let me write it. I said that A and, A and B are two points on the earth's surface. Let us give ourselves the particulars of A and B. A bracket 60 degrees north, 60 degrees east. B bracket 60 degrees north, 70 degrees west. Now, locate the two points, locate the point on the air surface. I calculate one radius of the latitude. Two distance between A and B along their latitude. Along their latitude. Three distance between A and B 
Along the great circle. Submit immediately. Next lesson, we are going to do further at this. Thank you very much.